Shalom everyone, this is Simone with uh, Purify Your Heart with Simone V. And the Lord put it on my heart this morning. Um, I wanted to get this out earlier, but everything in the Lord's timing to do a prayer for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to let the Lord flow, whatever he wants me to release. And just to pray over you because, um, like I've said in a couple of the other words, we know that as we enter into the promises that the enemy will try to bring up little things, or but he can't delay, right? And the Lord is saying with this prayer, really, that remember that our Father, He does what He says. Hallelujah. He does what He says, right? And this is about God's promises being fulfilled in your life for the remnant, for those who've been waiting, those who have been prepared, who've been pruned. You've made the sacrifices and now you're at the precipice and literally the enemy has been fighting you, whether it's, you know, it, the, it's always mental warfare at first, but then sometimes it can manifest in other ways. But the Lord's saying that's all just a smoke screen and a distraction. And so just to, to be prayerful, to be mindful of what the promises that he placed in your heart, the things that are right in front of you, says the living God, because he is literally blowing our minds with some of these the things that he's about to make come to pass some of the things that have already been begun and the lord is literally for some of you he's allowing you to retrace the steps he allowed you to take in the past years or, or maybe two three years or even longer for some of you that the, the obedience that you've had and now because of your obedience the warfare that you've gone through in past seasons that because you've you've done that he's saying you've won the victory he's already won it for you and he's saying that your victory is secure just like he highlighted the word i gave uh end of last year mid last year about your victory is secure right and he's saying that right now and he wants me just to pray over you guys so you guys just you can pray along with me or afterwards but he really wanted me to just encourage you guys to bless you because i i think some of you i know not think that are going through some things right now and the lord's saying do not turn away from what you know is the truth what you know in your heart what is already confirmed for you and so father we just thank you for your covering we thank you for your love you are a mighty god you're awesome god we thank you for your holy spirit father just flow uh you speak and not me whatever you want me to pray over your children over your sons and daughters in this hour lord to encourage them to uplift them father that they may be blessed empowered to move forward in the promises that you have right in front of them so father we thank you right now father for just everything we know that you said to have a grateful heart to have a humble heart a thankful heart in front of you and to look at the good things and not the things that the enemy are trying to use as distractions to bind to to bind them so we just loose them now right now in the name of jesus we loose their hearts right now we loose their minds that they may be free that you're speaking freedom and restoration in this hour you that your promises are being fulfilled in this hour father we just thank you for the sunlight we thank you for daybreak we thank you for the dawning of a new a new era in our lives father the, over your people's life father we thank you for full restoration and manifestation the unity that you're bringing in your children's lives in their families in their households father we thank you for peace father for your shalom nothing missing nothing broken father we just thank you lord that you're continuing to provide for your sons and daughters because you said as, as just as much as you feed the flowers and the birds of the air how much more will you feed your children how much more will you provide for them every single thing they need father we just thank you that you've already won the victory that we've already crossed over now into the territories that you're giving us and that you're strengthening your sons and daughters to step out in obedience in the instructions that you've given them that are right in front of them hallelujah we thank you for the businesses that are being birthed in this our father whether it's you know in in the the restaurant business father in the in the uh the financial arena father we just think in the educational arena wherever that their hearts been laid to to build father we just thank you that you're continuing to build them and you're sending resources to them that you're sending ideas father in this hour we thank you for the angels that are on guard and that have already been loose and that according to psalm 91 they're protected and sealed in this hour to do and to build we thank you father for your love we thank you father for your grace and your strength the strength and the push of your holy spirit the energy that they need father to fulfill to build with their with their with their kingdom spouse lord with their the the friends that are coming there where the true kingdom friendships father that you've already been building in this hour we just thank you for your direct alignment with with the proper kingdom uh families father kingdom alignments that you're already 
brought forth father we just thank you father that you're giving every every son and daughter what they need in this hour that you're removing every obstacle out of there where every blockage father that you're helping them to detox their mind body and spirit in this hour you're helping them to remove anything that you've asked that you give them the strength father to remove those items that they won't take a hold of their hearts that they won't be blocked in this hour father any any friendships that you've told them to stay away from or just to keep that boundary up we just thank you father that you're giving them the strength to do so whether it's friends or family members in the past father that because they're literally on the precipice that these people might try to approach them again but just just encourage them and bless them father to have strength to just pray over those people but to to continue to follow the instructions that you've already given them to keep those doors closed in the name of Jesus, Father. So we give them strength now. We plead your blood over them that they would have strength to keep those doors closed to the enemy in the name of Jesus, Father. We just thank you, Lord, that you're blessing your children, Father, that they have everything that they need. We thank you for the houses that you've already uh, established for them, the how the tangible houses that you're already giving them, Lord. We thank you for the, the, the restoration of any vehicles that they might need in this hour, Lord, to do to drive where they they need to go, Lord, to, to be obedient to you, Father. We thank you for giving them the ideas that they need, the direction and instruction to pick up your instruction from the Holy Spirit to go where they need, Father, for travel, Father. In this hour, we just thank you for traveling mercies for them because I know you're sending out a lot of your children across the nation, even abroad, Father, to do uh, your will and to take territory, Father. So we just thank you for their alignment, their d divine alignment, and they're just the, that they would pick up the, the instructions from you as they spend time with you in the secret place father we just thank you lord that you're continuing to bless them father in their in their health or we thank you that you're giving them ideas of ways to cook and just you know recipes and just healthy things that they need to restore their bodies in a natural way father we just we love you dearly father and we thank you we know that everything you've given us on the earth is to strengthen us and to power us and to renew ourselves and our bodies and we thank you father we plead your blood over your people and by your stripes they are healed in the name of jesus and that 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 you would align them and direct them to good food that would continue to strengthen and build their bodies and give them energy the blood flow to their bodies and their their minds father that they would be able to have to think correctly that you're removing the fog from them father the fog that the enemy was trying to place over these last couple of years you're removing that as you de detox them as you uh, strengthen them to just uh, continue to eat healthy to drink healthy father just to 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 be to be in a stance of purity to purify their, their mind their body and their spirits lord just to give them that strength, Father. We bind up any temptation in this hour in the name of Jesus, that they will be delivered from any temptation in the name of Jesus. And Father, we know that we all fall short, but every time you said that that a righteous man gets back up seven times, and Father, we just thank you for every time that you allow your sons and daughters to get back up, and that we now in Christ there is no condemnation. There is now no condemnation in Christ. So we thank you, Father, that you're speaking that over their hearts, their minds, and that they would not listen to the lies of the enemy in this hour. That if they fall, they get back up and continue in alignment with your plans over their life, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you that you're aligning them with their children, Father. Those that have family members that are in need, Father. Anyone that has a family member that's passed it, that you're healing them, Father, that you're healing every broken heart, that you're restoring their, their memory, you're restoring the good times, you're restoring the things they need to see, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would give them peace over what's happened in their life, in their families, and we plead your blood over them, Father, that you are a God of peace, you're a God of order, you're a God of love, you're a God of laughter, a God of joy, and we thank you, Father, that you're just continuing to surround this family, these families like a shield, Father, as they in time of mourning or any need that they have father in the name of jesus father we just thank you that you're giving the strength to those who are single to just continue to press forward and to look to you as their husband lord that you are almighty god and you will bring what is ordained to them in the correct timing lord that your timing is beyond fathom everything that you have on your calendar your godly calendar is a set time and no weapon formed against him shall prosper nothing that you've promised them will be stolen in the name of jesus as they continue to press towards the mark of the high calling as they continue to stay with you in the secret place father we just thank you 
for the joy of being able to worship you, Lord. We just thank you for the joy to dance with you, Lord, and so just strengthen them to continue to get back up and pick up those tools that they've been taught, Lord, in this hour to continue to just be at rest and that this is not an hour necessarily to war, but the warfare is now just resting in you and just going right to you when something comes up, Father. So we just thank you, Lord, that you're removing every obstacle, every, every, we bind up now, every divination, every spell of witchcraft, every, every, Spell, a spell that's coming against their destiny in the name of Jesus and we tear it down now by the Holy Spirit fire that you've unleashed in the hearts and minds of your people father that everything that the canker worm and, and the, the palm worm have stolen shall be restored onto them in the name of Jesus Lord you are mighty and you've already gone before them Lord so thank you for just encouraging them for blessing them for building them up in this hour lord we thank you for just true restoration total restoration as they submit everything to you in the name of jesus lord we thank you lord for the 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 fun them to be able to finish whatever studies they need to finish any courses that they need to finish father that they would have the strength to continue to study and map it out lord and to do your will father help them to remember that they are sons and daughters of the most high god to keep their head up high lord in this hour that nothing anyone says or does to them can take away the promises and can take away their position in heaven father we thank you for what you've already stored up for us in heaven but that you promise that we shall see it in this hour the full manifestation on the earth hallelujah as we bring souls into the body of christ we bring souls into the kingdom to understand how loving how merciful how just you are so we thank you for this season of judgment and justice and joy in the name of jesus father we thank you for your mercy we thank you that if we fall short you you pick us back up lord we thank you that if there's anything missing in us anything lacking that you have already completed all things lord we thank you lord for your love your peace your joy over your people help them to be encouraged on this day lord to rest in the promises you've given them that you truly are fulfilling them for those who are, and for those who are still waiting to help them understand that their perseverance builds their faith and and strengthens them for the promise hallelujah that for the blessing when it approaches so the ultimate blessing is to sit at your feet to sit in your presence hallelujah so we just love you lord we thank you we honor you we just continue to plead your blood over your people that they're empowered and lifted up in this hour, Lord, that they would look at the positive things that you've planted in their lives and not at the, the, the enemy's attacks, not at the day-to-day -day issues, but the good things that they have in their life. For you love a grateful heart. You love a joyful heart. And we thank you, Father, according to Nehemiah 8, 10, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we look to you, Lord, now for that strength. And we just thank you. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I just want to quickly, before I end, um, just read two scriptures the Lord had me um, look at. And one of them is from the Psalms and one of them is from Proverbs. Hallelujah. I'm going to read Proverbs 1. Um, and I'm, I'll be doing some more with this, but Proverbs 1, chapter 1, it says, The Proverbs of Solomon, Song of David, King of Israel, for attaining wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of insight, for acquiring a disciplined mind and prudent life, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the wise listen and add to their learning. And let the discerning get guidance. Hallelujah. And again, we know this is the hour of the Lord is heightening our discernment as we draw closer to the promises. For understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and the riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Hallelujah. The fear and the meaning, the reverence and awe. But fools despise wisdom and discipline. Listen, my son, to your father's instructions and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They will they will be a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. Hallelujah. My son, if sinners entice you, do not give in to them. If they say, come along with us, let's lie and wait for someone's blood. Let's waylate some harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and whole like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder. Throw in your lots with us and we will share a, a common purse. My son, do not go along with them. Hallelujah, meaning do not do anything out of order. Anything that the God is not aligned with God's word. Hallelujah. 
right my son do not go along with them do not set foot on their paths for their feet rush into sin they are swift to shed blood how helpless to spread a net in full view of all birds hallelujah so the lord just saying just stay in alignment with him and don't be tempted into anything untoward because you're waiting on the promises of god hallelujah and so psalm the last one is psalm one that i wanted to share psalm one it says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers hallelujah but his delight is in the law of the lord and on his law he meditates day and night he is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season right everything in its in its season and whose leaf does not wither whatever he does prospers not so the wicked they are like chaff that the wind blows away therefore the wicked will not stand in judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous for the lord watches over the way of the righteous but the way of the wicked will perish hallelujah and that's all of psalm 1 and psalm 2 it says verse 2 the kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the lord and against his anointed let us break their chains they say and throw off their fetters but the one verse four the one meaning our living god enthroned in heaven laughs the lord scoffs at them then he rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath saying i have installed my king on zion my holy hill hallelujah i will proclaim the decree of the lord he said to me you are my son and today i have become your father ask of me and i will make the nations your inheritance the ends of the earth your possession hallelujah and so the living god is saying beloved just continue to rest in him for his our son his son our lord and savior jesus christ is on the throne hallelujah and he has given all things for us the lord is saying that he's doing what he promised right and his promises shall come to pass so rest in him to stay focused in him to stay focused on the promises and not the warfare per se but but to be discerning and remember to continue to keep your boundaries and continue to stay in faith and in thankfulness hallelujah so he loves you i love you i just wanted to share that prayer with you guys god bless you and i'll see you on the next broadcast shalom